All right, this morning we have the uh, uh, frame pieces put on. <clears throat> this is the first time that I've ever put them on at an angle. Usually, usually I just put them vertically right there, but uh, this time I thought I'd try something a little different. And this is really important because it takes the forces that are generated by the front end and it runs them down into the bottom frame. It actually divides the force from there to there. <clears throat> and um, this is inherently structurally weak part of the frame because it's so skinny right here. It's kind of like a hinge. And this part really takes all the load off of that. Making that, we can do get away with that. So it's really important that you you know, block from the top to the bottom, that you connect them here and um, divide the forces up like that. It's kind of an engineering thing. Um, I got the dash welded on. Okay, now we'll, next thing we'll take and grind this down a little bit, not too much, just enough to make it look pretty. Um, got the back seat uh, bolted in, welded on. And uh, we got to do the, the rear mount yet. We, we haven't finished making the rear mounts yet. And they will go right there. And, um, num, num, num. That's it for that. And I got the rear mounts for the seats nailed. And uh, make sure you always put them at a slight angle inwards. So when you set the seat down, this uh, bra um, tab lays on over this one. If you get them in the wrong angle, you'll never get the seats on and off because they'll be on the wrong angle. Got the front tabs up and finished. Uh, battery box is in and done. There's the battery box. Um, also welded the uh, front uh, trailer hitch uh, mount on. So we put it right to the frame, right across there. And then this bar here will get the uh, receiver, just like docks. I'll show you docks right here. Okay. So he's getting the same treatment as this one. And uh, we'll actually weld the uh, hitch onto that uh, frame piece.